Good evening, everybody. How are we doing tonight? All right. We have to speed run this these DLCs. We have today. We have Wednesday. We don't have a lot of time anymore. We have to complete two DLCs and two streams. If I need to, I will be streaming on Thursday to hope to finish it up. But otherwise, uh, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, so hopefully this, uh, hopefully we can finish this in time. The big barrier is going to be uh, getting Kubfu to a high enough level to actually finish the DLC. Uh, lurking, good luck. All right, sounds good. Thank you as always, Sakura. Um, as a quick reminder, remember, remember to vote on my poll. Uh, it's my pinned tweet on my Twitter. Uh, there's lots of, there's been a lot of votes on it. Um, right now, Fue Coco is in the lead with Quaxley and Spragatio, uh, trailing very close behind. So if you want to see your starter be picked, please feel free to, uh, to vote on that. I believe the poll only has a few more days. I think it's going to stop, uh, like a day or so before the game actually comes out. So yeah, I uh, don't have any other announcements besides that. I'm just ready to get into the game and start speedrunning this DLC. All right, let's do this. Connection with the server was interrupted. Understandable, that's perfectly fine with me. All right, so apparently we have like, there's like a bunch of things we need to go do. Um, let's see, statue of Pokemon, it's like it's missing something, okay. Um, let's go talk to our boy Peony. Hopefully, maybe he'll give me some advice of what to do. Alright. Let's see. Okay, so we need to actually, like, make progress on anything. On things. Cool. That is good to know. Alright, let's get going. Uh, I guess this is a new way to go. God, I must be so cold. Oh, hey, Mimikyu. Mimikyu, good Pokemon. If I see Pokemon that are, like, worth getting XP for, I probably will fight them. Uh, I'm not exactly sure uh, what kind of stuff I'm looking for. Ooh. Nido King. That's cool, I guess. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's one of the temples. Oi, it's me, Peony. How are things, Chief? What's that? You found someplace ruiny looking? That's gotta be one of those places you know where the legendary giants are supposed to be. See that door with mysterious writing on it? I hear no one's ever been able to get in. If that's all true, I think I call this particular adventure the terrible titans lurking locked away. <laughs> well, how's that grab you? Right then, chief. I eagerly leave the rest of this research in your hands. Talk to you later. It's a new TR. Ooh, flash cannon's really good. Can anybody learn flash cannon that could actually use it? Basically, everybody can learn it. Er, only about half of my Pokemon can learn it, but I don't know if, they, if they're actually going to be able to use it. So I'm just on the door. Let, the, let ring the piercing note that will wake the giant of s steel. Does that mean I need to teach somebody Flash Cannon? Uh, we'll give it a try. So we got Foul Play, we got Play Rough. I'll get rid of Magic Room, I guess. Maybe if I switch left key to the first slot. That does not seem to be it. All right, metal coat, that's cool. I apologize if I'm also talking a little bit lower. Um, hopefully you guys can still hear me. 
I upped the, um, what's the word, gain, whatever, on the mic, so you should be able to hear me. I just, I strained my voice a little bit yesterday, uh, doing all the voices, so I'm just taking it a little bit easy, because it did hurt my throat a little bit. Alright, so, hopefully that's marked on our map. Is not marked on our map. Let's keep looking around, though. Oh my god, an Umbreon. I want to catch it. Oh wait, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Every time I see an odd no, I'm gonna go fight it. Alright, we'll swap out for Switchblade. Switchblade will just spam Brick Break. You know how it is. He's gonna do plenty of damage to that odd no and hopefully get Cub through a bunch of XP. Nice last resort. Alright. Brick Break. Yeah, at least it's just an Orton Berry. Entrainment? I've never seen that move before. It swapped my... It gave my, uh, me the ability Healer instead of Defiant. It's not going to really make a difference at this point, but... It's interesting. That's so much XP. Yeah, I'll take Sword Stance instead of, uh... Instead of Laser Focus, I was never using Laser Focus anyways. Dynamic Punch, I don't like Dynamic Punch. Oh, hey, Golbat. Let's see... Oh, you know, maybe that, um, maybe that new information, I'll be able to talk to, uh, maybe Peony will have something. <sighs> oh, the sin is tea. Nice, got away safely. I'm not, I'm not gonna bother actually fighting Pokemon like that right now. We're just, we're just looking to get what we need. Oh, yo, Soothbell? I'm kind of surprised I didn't have one up until this point. There's actually a lot of items I thought I would have at this point, but I don't. So much stuff. Yo, a Dragapult. Brown Zong, that's cool. It's really interesting seeing all these Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> that magic card. Oh my god. Oh, that's a big, that's a big Snorlax. Ooh, here's another one of the temples. Stone Edge. But the first Pokemon hold a never changing stone. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Let's give it an Everstone if I have one. I don't know if I actually have an Everstone. I don't actually have one. Uh, I guess that may must mean there's one nearby. Is this it? No. Okay, so I need to find an Everstone, I guess. I'm surprised. I am surprised. Oh, I don't know. I'm surprised I don't have one right now. Um, I'm actually gonna look that up real quick. 
Everstone, Pokemon, Sword. Switch to Switchblade. Let's see, where is it? Oh, wow. Okay. Apparently there's one in, uh... Yeah, it looks like there's one in, like, the first- the town of the first gym. Nice double edge. Killing all these Autonos is actually gonna give us the levels we need for, uh, Cub Fu, which is really good. Also, everybody else is getting some nice XP. Alright, uh, apparently there is one in this area. In the jump. Oh! My god, we're getting so lucky with Odd Nose, oh my god. I think after this one, we're gonna be level 34, or 44. Kinda wish. Uh, my Bisharp had something a little bit stronger than, uh, oh my god. That was, uh, that was a non-insignificant amount of damage. Apparently there is one in the giant, in, in this area, let's see. Alright, alright. First, I'll look around here for a little bit, and then if I don't find it, uh, I'll go back to Turfield. Nah, I don't want to encounter. Miracle Seed, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, it is in the giant's foot area. Oh my god, all these autonos. Let's go. Honestly, uh, we're getting to a point where I think level 60 is going to be pretty realistic. May need to heal up, uh, Bisharp, though. Those double edges do kind of hurt. Bonk. Nice. And bonk. The XP uh, for Cub Fu is starting to go down a little bit, but it's not too bad yet. Super potions, because I can't be bothered to look for the hyper potions I have. Oh my god, so many auto know. <laughs> it just keep they keep chaining. At this rate, I'm gonna find a shiny one. Alright, so probably after this one, we're gonna be like level 46 or something. We're getting close, we're getting close. It's crazy that you have to get to... Or, I may not need to get to this high of a level, but because of the scaling of, of the Isle of Armor, I probably have to, because the enemies are going to be scaled that high. Which is slightly unfortunate. If I knew that, would I have, also, would I have done it earlier? Would I have done the, uh, the Steel Seat earlier? I don't know. Get bonk. 47, actually. Being in the front of the party and swapping out is definitely helping me get more XP. Because, like, Bisharp is getting, like, twice as much XP as the rest of my Pokemon right now. Just because he's, he's getting swapped in for the kill. 
I wish I could actually use Cub Fu to get the kill, but Cub Fu doesn't have the attack stat yet, and Bisharp does. <laughs> Misty terrain, okay. All right, um, brick break. It's gonna need one more. Nice second misty terrain. I'm actually running out of brick break uses. Uh, I may have to swap using something else. Uh, I could always go for like Excadrill earthquakes or something. Won't be super effective, but it is Excadrill after all. Excadrill does a uh, big boy damage. Ooh, close combat. I will actually take that, though. I like close combat. It's fun. Does big damage. Alright. Uh, what is that? Oh. The Sentry Scorch. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run away. Goodbye, Sentra Scorch. You will not be missed. Oh, that's a cup Raja. Conk Elder. All right, so apparently somewhere. Somewhere there's going to be what I'm looking for. This <laughs> is Lipid. You know, I gotta say, I'm sl my uh, it does mildly unsettle me. Binding band, increase the power of binding moves. Interesting. It does mildly unsettle me that uh, whatever it's called, um, that it's got like a headband thing in its in its skull essentially. gotta be here somewhere. Doesn't look like I can get in there. Hmm. Set of is supposed to be in some ruins, and these are definitely some ruins. Could go check in here, but this is probably gonna be a different area. That's a different area. Um, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Uh, I guess at this point I'll, uh. Okay, so there's, uh, one at the giant's bed. That's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, so I'm going to go to the first gym town, which is right here, turf field. Hello, Sashka. How you doing it this fine evening? All right, so let's see. Let's find this uh, this Everstone. It's supposed to be somewhere in the, here. Here it is, let's go. All right, so we need to get the Everstone. Did you hear about Ash? Uh, yes, I did. I actually, so I have, I, I used to watch the Pokemon anime very sporadically, but I was like, yo, I gotta watch this. So I watched all four episodes of the, of Ash versus Leon, it was it was really it was really good. I was I was like tearing up the whole time. It was really good. I'm so proud of my boy. He finally completed his character arc after uh after very long. I do talk a little fast. All right, but um, I'll slow down for a second for you. Uh. I watched the entire thing. Uh, and it was really cool, basically. Uh, so what do I have to do for this? I guess I did it right. Yes, of course I want to check it out. Oh, I cried. I didn't cry, but I teared up a lot.
All right. Um. Uh, Kafu, get back in the. Uh... Do I have to catch all of? Uh, do you know if I have to catch all of these, or do I just need to beat them up? Oh my god, that was scary. Let's go for Smart Strike. It's gonna do less damage. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt immensely. Oh, we living? We living? I mean, appar apparently he used... Uh, all of those Pokemon were ones he caught in that... Oh! in that, uh, season. So, that's understandable. I will say some of his choices were a little strange, at least from just somebody that hasn't watched it very much. Like, I- the Dragonite, the Lucario, were pretty unexpected. The Gengar also, because those were all, like, Gen 1. All right, we're gonna. F oh no, wait! He's gonna kill himself. Oh, wait, he's gonna kill himself. That's gonna be the yikes. Oh, good use curse. All right, all right, we're good, we're good. All right, we're gonna hit him with a thunder wave, and hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier. Yeah, Gengar is great. I was just. <sighs> well, goodbye, Reggie Rock. I can't believe you killed yourself. Not sure if I need to catch it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna probably have to catch it. The Gengars from the building were no. I I honestly don't know. I didn't watch the I didn't watch the show. I literally just watched that. I could not tell you. Even if I wanted to. At least this uh, riddle, or this riddle, was easier to solve than the last one. Cause my, it's a, it's after work for me. My brain is fried. Honestly, the coolest thing about the Ash versus Leon fight was that Ash. You don't watch the show, but TikTok recommended you videos. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. I thought it was really cool that Ash was able to use Z moves. Oh my god, that did nothing. Um, that he was allowed to use Z moves, um, Mega Evolution, and Dynamax. I thought that was really cool. That he got to use basically everything that he's. Uh, grown, grown up with over the uh, seasons kind of made it like it made it really feel like a, a finale like a culmination of everything he's done alright hit him with one more power whip and that should be enough ow I wonder how many how many moves that he actually used. Cause it's really hard to count. It's like it feels like he has um like Ash's Pikachu has more moves because like, you know, use Thunderbolt, Iron Tail, Electro Web, um either Extreme Speed or Volt Tackle. There's like a lot of things he used. Um, I guess it's time to start catching it. Pray. Pray for the Ultra Balls. I actually need to go get some more Pokeballs. 
Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It is what it is. Why does a rock type have so many fighting type moves? I actually want to check something. Do I need to catch the Crown Tundra Legendaries? Do I need to catch the to progress? Does Crown Challenger require? All right, I do need to catch the Reggies to get access to the new ones. Also, I really like that we got to see Dynamax Pikachu. I, I loved seeing Fat Pikachu, that was hilarious. Also, I can't believe Ash has a Dracovish. Dracovish is such a silly Pokemon. I can't believe he had that. His team. Oh, nice. We actually caught it. His team was had a honestly really bad type spread. He had two Fighting types, two Dragon types, an unevolved Pokemon. Cool. Oi, it's me, Peony. You looking out for yourself out there, Chief? Come again, you met the rock giant, Regirock? Ha, smashing job, Chief. Now, time to keep looking into the other giants, keep up the good work. He didn't even have, like, a nice fire, water, grass core. Or anything. He, I don't know, his team was, his team was jank as heck. I do I don't approve of his team. Alright, uh I'm gonna go back to Freezing Tin real quick, heal up. Cause my Pokemon did get kinda blasted. Oh yeah, any of the Gengar. That was the one I was missing when I was thinking. Oh wait, I forgot. I don't need to talk to him to heal up. I just go here to heal up. But yeah, like, he probably could have replaced the Surfetched with, like, something else. Like a better, like a water-type Pokemon or something. I think, I think just that is the main thing. Alright, so, there was a temple that was talking about, like, something... It was a, it, that was definitely Registeel. Maybe I need to have a Metal Code equipped? We'll see, we'll see. Nice double edge. Ow. Do a little damage to yourself. That makes my life slightly easier. Come on, let's get that let's get that crit, baby. Nope, no crit. Yeah. Also, one thing that impressed me about uh, that fight as well, uh, I'm surprised that they took into account abilities. I didn't <laughs> expect that Leon Scorbunny or Cinderace had uh, Libero, which is like the type changing ability. That was actually really cool. I didn't expect that. Go Focus Sash, heck yeah. Focus Sash is pretty pr pretty good at a 10. All right, so this is this is one. This must be Registeel. Let the, let ring the piercing note that'll wake in the giant of steel. 
on the metal coat, it, pr it probably is not the answer, but... Hmm. Let bring the piercing note... You know what? I'll keep looking for the other temples in the meantime. We found two of them so far. It's probably going to be Ridge of Ice. It's probably going to be in the ice area. Also starting to run low in Pokeballs. So I should probably go get some more Pokeballs. I should also kill this Odin now. I wonder if Kubfu's getting close to being able to actually kill these. It's level 50 now. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Come on, close combat. Yo, that's exactly half. Nice. That saves me a little bit of time for a few autonos. I'm afraid if he gets double-edged, he'll get just annihilated. But we don't need to think about that right now. Really? Really? Charcoal's good. Ah. Oh, hi, Mimikyu. I like Mimikyu. It's good. It's a good mom. Ow. There we go. Alright, so we're back in Freezing Tin. Is there a shop in Freezing Tin? There is. Ultra Balls. Yo, Beans. Alright, see you later. Have a good night, my dude. Thank you for stopping by. Alright, so we got some we got some Pokeballs now, so that's solved one of our issues. Now, we just need to find uh, where the other temples are. Oh, this is probably where the iron... Nope, was not where it was. All right, we're on the lookout for uh, another temple, an icy one. Is that, is that an Aerodactyl? What's an Aerodactyl doing? TR over there. I don't necessarily need it right now, though, so I'm not gonna bother grabbing it. That looks like it leads to the Regirock Rock Temple. Ocean Peace. That's all good and stuff, but it's not what I need right now. Actually, that's the place where I was before as well. Okay, cool. I can buy things with watts. I like Aura Sphere. Flarebeth is also good. Yo, Toxic Spikes? Oh, 
Also Leaf Blade. Maybe one of my Pokemon my mons can learn Leaf Blade. Be nice having some grass coverage. Come on, I got a lot of mons with claws. Nobody can learn it. Also, nobody can learn that. Really? Only one Pokemon can learn Stone Edge? Stone! Oh, Devil Wool. Oh, they're so floofy. Not as good as Wulu, though. Oh, Matang. If I really wanted to, I could get a Metagross. A lot of Beldums, too. There's probably a wild Metagross somewhere. Feeling we're getting close to the temple. It's probably not this way, but I want to check. Ooh, there's an item over here. Eject pack. Interesting. This is looking like, uh, like it could be where, where I'm... Tunnel to the top, okay. Oh, a Gibble! Hi, Gibble. That means Garchomp is here. I like Garchomp. Oh, Frostlass. Oh my god. So many just cool Pokemon you can just catch. This is so cool. Kind of makes me wish I tried I tried this out a little earlier. Yeah. Can I can I can I please? Thank you. I'll take a look around a little bit over here before I head back up to the top. Hopefully I don't get lost. There's always that possibility. Ooh, I ten. Heavy duty boots, I already kinda have those. At this point I'm just kinda going down back down. Oh, Garchomp. I want. I want so badly. I want so badly, but I know I don't need it. And now I'm all the way back down here. Ooh, Hearthstone is cool. Ooh, TR. Ally switch. Switch is placed with one of its allies. So I'm assuming it's like kind of like a baton pass kind of thing. All right, let's head back up to the top. Cool little cave system, though. I can appreciate a nice cave system. All right, so I guess I gotta go this way. Path to the peak. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Frostmoth! Absol, oh my god. And snobs everywhere. I love this. I love this so much. Not what I was looking for, but it's definitely uh is gonna be important. What do I see? Nothing. You felt that someone was watching you until just a moment ago.
Maybe, just maybe. Okay, looks like this extends a little bit farther back. This is, these are just like the gates. Ooh, a TR. Let's go uh, grab that real quick. Meh. Meh. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good one. Too bad. I don't think anybody's going to be able to actually learn it. Can't actually change my camera angle. I can't ride my bicycle right now. Yes. It is a big tree. Um, doesn't look like I can do anything here right now. Looks like I may have to come back here later. <sighs> Stupid me. All right, hopefully there's a teleport point here. Yeah, there is. Perfect. Good. 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 So that's like most of the areas discovered now, right? Oh, wow. All right, so let's go to the giant's bed. Let's go to that tree. I did not collide with, collide with that Bronzong. I disagree. I strongly disagree, game. At least I'm able to get away. Alright, I'm gonna go down this. Maybe this will take me where I need to go. Okay, good, good. Ooh, item, item, item. Oh, it's the life orb. We do like the life orb. Life orb is, uh, is big deal. Ooh, what's that? Oh, characters. I must stay away from that. From that. Ooh, hi, Corviknight. Imzakot, Tyrant, Shuckle. Corviknight. I'm actually surprised with the amount of, like, Pokemon that I'm seeing that are, uh, from this gen. Let's just screw it around here. Grab this item. Metronome. want that auto now. Hopefully it doesn't use uh I'll use close combat, hopefully it doesn't use double edge. No, I'm not gonna risk it. I should just I should just heal up. Alright, uh I'm actually gonna look up uh Steelix not Steelix, uh Registeel, that's what it's called. So Registeel, Pokemon Sword. Uh, let's see. Well, it, the clue to open the door is let the let ring the piercing note that'll wake the giant of steel to open the door. You simply need to press left on the control stick and it whistle while standing near it. I didn't even know I could whistle. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that. Let's try. Let's try. Well, 
I'm guessing that is the equivalent of whistling right now. Alright, so this is another one of the things. That's a cool looking tree. It's got some big ass fruit. How am I liking Peak Fiction? It's pretty alright so far. So far, that is a weird looking Moltres. How you doing, Matt? That is a weird looking Zapdos. That's a weird looking Articuno. Peony, you got you fucked us. Oh no. Like, I didn't have these forms, I have their like original forms. But I don't have the Galarian versions, that's for sure. Beep beep beep. Oi, oi, it's me, Peony. Listen, I wanted to ask you something. Hang on, Chief. There's breaking news on the telly. They're saying dodgy bird Pokemon are popping up left and right. There's a pointy feathered one in the wild area, plus a fire looking one on the Isle of Armor. And then there's a graceful one apparently flying about the ground tundra. Wouldn't it be something that it turned out to be the bird Pokemon in that clue I wrote about? Well, if that were the case, I'd call this expedition something like. A legendary tree of a legendary three. <laughs> <laughs> I like Peony's naming conventions. Now I've gone and Ultra Mega, Mega completely forgot what I called you for in the first place. Well, life's too short to sweat the small stuff. Ta, Chief! Alright. So, there's one in each each big, big area. That's good to know. Um... So I guess let's finish up the Reggies first, and then we'll do the the whatever they're called, the these guys. The birds, that's what they're called, birds. So Matt, are you, are you excited? Uh, for Friday, my dude. I am, uh, I am very excited. I really hope I can actually finish, uh, finish these DLCs in time, because, uh, I'm running out of time. Hopefully we're gonna chip away at a good amount of the, of the Crown Tundra DLC. Did I catch Zamazenta? No, I have not. Matt, I'm on a tight schedule. I had to skip the post-game uh, of base. I, I gotta prioritize the, new, the stuff I actually need to do. Because, from what I remember, the post-game is really, really long for no reason. Maybe I'll get back to it eventually, but uh, for now I need to focus on actually finishing this stuff up. Yeah, it's really stupid. You catch a Turnitus. Nice. Alright, Kafu's getting pretty close now, just by killing Audinos. God bless Audinos, am I right? Alright, so temple's over here. I figured out what I need to do now, thanks to the internet. I do need to find the Reggie Ice Temple. I'm not exactly sure what that where that is. I wouldn't have known that. I wouldn't have known that at all. I'm gonna be honest. Thank you, internet.
I legit thought it had something to do with like the flash cannon TR that was there. All right. Uh, we'll start with uh, a nice paralyze. Hey Matt, do you know where the Reggie Ice is? Because I have no clue where the Reggie Ice Temple is. I haven't found it yet. Cat Jam, indeed. It's around. <laughs> nice. Bisharp. Bisharp will probably use like Night Slash or something. Now I'll use Brick Break. It'll be fine. Red Steel is tanky. Alright, I'm gonna go for Iron Head. Iron Head's now gonna be very effective. So, can I do that again? I can now. Do I want a map? Yes, I would actually seriously appreciate a map. Because I need to finish this by Friday. That is a very interesting way of putting the map, but all right. Generally, I can get the idea of what's going on. Let's see. Now, where's the red ice on this one? Okay, I see it. All right. It's just a matter of time now until it gets in the ball. I'll throw Kung Fu out there. Let's go Kung Fu. Matt, the uh, the poll right now is leaning towards Fue Coco. If you haven't seen, oh, I almost I almost killed it. It's like thirty five percent Fue Coco and like a little under. 33% for the other two. It's it's very it's a very close vote still. Which starter are you planning on picking? I'm not sure if you told me. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Nice, 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 nice. Yo, we can actually add this on the team. Do we? Yo, we bring in the Registeel in? gonna ditch the starter really do you already have a team planned out that's not using the starter oi peony here you haven't hurt yourself or anything have you come again you gone and met the steel giant ridge steel ha smash and work chief now take that energy and go catch the others keep up the good work kind of you are you already know anything everything so smile fair enough I'm excited to see I'm excited to see what there is. I've been doing my best to keep myself away from spoilers. Uh unfortunately on my timeline, I did I think I like briefly 
saw what the evolved version of Spragatio looks like. I don't remember it super well, but I remember seeing it at a glance. Rom got posted on the internet a few days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard. I think one of my friends is, is using is playing it. But I haven't seen I haven't seen like anything leak wise really. Besides that, on accident, like I don't even know how that got in my fucking timeline. I guess maybe it's... No, wait, that's the Dynamax Caves. Alright, so it should be somewhere over here. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I see. I guess I missed this area. Speed boost. So many mons. Oh, so I have to go this way. I completely missed this. Yo, is that Metagross? I want. I want. Should I catch the Metagross? Should I catch the Metagross? And eh, we're at the end of we're at the end of the game. I don't need a Metagross. Walk together with a living crystal of snow. Oh, I have to catch a Kriagonal. Alright, Kriagonal, where the fuck are you? Go Kapu! Honestly, Kapu got this? Kapu don't got this? Oh my god, Kapu got his ass kicked. Okay, never mind, never mind. So let's paralyze it. <sighs> Honestly, I thought the sheer cold was gonna hit. I wouldn't have been surprised if the sheer cold hit. A little bit of power whip. It's not gonna do a lot of damage, which is what I want. Oh, well. Fuck! Oh, that's why. Well, there goes that. Well, good thing there's Kriagonal everywhere over here. I can't believe it, it needs me to have a Kriagon on my team. Alright, Gyro Ball, please don't kill. Honestly, I'm just gonna throw an Ultra, ultra Balls at it. It's at like half health, it'll be fine, right? That wasn't great. Oh, throw a thunder wave at it, I guess. Solar beam? <laughs> Why does it know solar beam? It's so, that's so strange. I'm 
I'm gonna have to weaken it a little more, aren't I? Nice two, like, two damage. The hail did more damage than your solar beam, my dude. Oh. All my attacks were too strong. Maybe Klefki would play rough? Or foul play, I hope? I mean, he used acid armor once, so it should have higher defense. It's got like, because like this is the only thing that doesn't have stab, so it'll do the least amount of damage. All right, that's good. It's not doing a lot. All right, his health is almost in the red. One more. Alright, now we'll start spamming Ultra Balls again. Yay! One, two, fuck. Kriagon is such a funny looking Pokemon. Now that I'm like looking dead into its eyes. Why does it have Solar Beam? That's such a weird move for it to have. Do I need help? With what? Catching this Pokemon? Or something actually, or something else? Apparently, I do need help catching this fucking Kriagonal. Dude, what the heck? Get in the fucking ball. This is this Kriagonal is has been harder to catch than both the other Regis. Thank you. That was unnecessarily annoying. All right, what's going on the bench? Uh. Honestly, I haven't really been using, uh, haven't been using Burb too much. Uh, buttons, buttons. There we go. I finally pressed the right one. All right, uh, let's go heal up real quick. Flying Taxi, we'll go hit, we'll go hit up Regi Ice. And then after that's gonna be Reggie Lecky or Drago. I'm not exactly sure which one I'm gonna catch because I have both of them. Uh, because, you know, uh, one of my friends uh, helped me out. So I have basically everything I need, anyways. Hey, what's up, Patrick? How you doing this evening? Thank you very much for the resub, my dude. How you doing this fine evening? Streamer abusing power? I'm not abusing my power. One of my viewers was like, I, I'll help you out. And I was like, I will take said help. Tired? Yo, Sam. Today was uh, another long day of work. Of me basically not doing much. I was kind of just staring at a computer screen, looking at code all day. It do be what it do be, though. 
Oh, I gotta, I gotta put it in my first slot. Don't let me in now. Thank you. All right, there we go. Let's uh, let's get you back. Uh, let's just swap these two because I'm gonna start with uh, gonna start with hitting it with a thunder wave, and then I'm probably just gonna hit it with some gyro balls or something. Boy. All right. Zap cannon. Okay. All right. So, what should I catch? Should I catch Reggie Alecki or Reggie Drago? Which one do you guys think I should catch? Alecki looks like a freak. That was a crit. So does that mean you want me to catch Drago then? Oof, ouchie, oof. Oh, fuck her. Well. Well, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. <laughs> Icy wind, <laughs> bruh. Why does a level 70 Pokemon have Icy wind? I don't really have any moves that do, like, no damage. Ugh. Nice stretch. You stop lowering my speed. Alright, foul play shouldn't do too much damage. Right? All right, we're good. That's about as low as I can go. You know, having false swipe would be nice right about now. Fuck! Oh, I thought I had it. This time it doesn't even shake once. Don't even get false hope. And a zero. Oh, it actually hit the Zap Cannon. Oh no! Well, shit. Um, you go out. Keep spamming Ultra Balls, baby! <sighs> God, I'm so tired. Am I gonna be playing? Uh, yes, I will be. Uh, I probably won't be starting until like 7 p.m., but I will be playing. And I am planning to be streaming all weekend. I'm planning on streaming Saturday and Sunday as well. I may be starting a bit late on Saturday because I gotta go get my oil changed and uh, I have to do that at like 10.30, so I may be a little bit late on Saturday. But I'm probably gonna be stream- but I'll, 
I'll probably go a little bit later as well. So, we're probably gonna get- a, we're gonna be streaming all weekend, most likely. As long as my voice can take it, because, um, my throat hasn't been doing too hot recently. A fucker! So, that's why I'm, like, speaking in a bit of a lower tone right now. Just trying to, like, rest it a little bit, because, uh, yesterday was actually pretty brutal on it, so... Speaking at a lower tone and not going all crate all bonkers definitely helps. This son of a bitch. I'll I'll maybe try. I'll maybe try. I'll see how I'm feeling on on Friday. This is like the fifth time. Three shakes and then doesn't get in the ball. I'm so mad. What if the game has voice acting? Matt, you and I both know the game has no chance of having voice acting. Pokemon Company does not give a shit about voice acting. Finally. They had voice acting in Black and White 2? They did? Well, okay, okay. If Even if, if they did, I don't remember if they did. But if they did, remember that Black and White 2 is peak Pokemon. That was when Pokemon reached its peak. It's been all down here from Hill. Oi, oi, Peony here. Join your adventures? Come again? You've gone and met the Ice Giant Reg Ice? Ha, smash and work, Chief. Now, crack on with those other giants. Keep up the good work. All right. So we now have all three of the other one of the other Reggies. So I guess the next thing to do is go get Reggie Alecky and and slash or Reggie Drago. So let's take a look at the map. So it's apparently going to be like somewhere over here. So let's fly over here and then... Oh, I have to And I guess we got to go somewhere. We got to go that way. Oh god, I got to play dodge the Pokemon. Nidoran female. Oh yeah, Spiky Boy is still frozen. I was wondering, it's like, why is he not moving? <laughs> I was like, why? What's going on? Did my game is my game work? Oh, that's so funny. It's like it does its starting animation and then just freezes. <laughs> It's so funny. It's so funny. If I need, I got like plenty of potions and stuff. Alright, now the question is how do I get down there? Hi, Aerodactyl. Looks like this way. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! What the fuck? Dude, that was some nasty popping right there. That was actually the nastiest poppin' I've ever seen in my life. That was disgusting. Th 
they need the pop in to come from a slightly longer distance Hap that happened to you in real life. An elephant just popped in like two feet in front of you. That's impressive, actually. I didn't even know there were elephants uh, where we live. It's news to me. Oh, it's so tempting to just catch that fucking Lucario and add it to the team. But I really don't need it. Fuck, what was that? It's because you have to get real close before they pop in. <laughs> They're like popping right on top of you and squish you. Yo, what's up, Shakib? How's it going? How are you doing this fine evening? Oh, fuck, Garbink. Uh, turn. Yo, is Titar? Okay, we made it. We made it outside to the frigid sea. Now, the question is, is this where I even need to go? Spiel! I love Spiel. You're playing testosterone the game? Oh, sweet. I actually found it. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. Nice. You know what? Here's the, here's the strat. Here's the strat. I'm gonna fight Reggie Alecki. So I gotta actually have all of them in my party. Shit. All right. I kind of want to have all of them in my party, and that or um. So let's see. If I use ground type, fuck, he's still, still frozen. All right. It's time to use a full restore. There we go. Um, let's see. Dragon is, uh, not very effective against steel. And... But, again, specifically Excadrill, Regieleki won't be able to do anything. So, I think I'll go for Regieleki. What, what do you think? Regieleki or Regidrago? Well, I guess I chose one. It's electric key. I kind of want. I kind of want Drago actually. Oh, that doesn't help. Because I got a split decision ruins. Okay, let me let me take a look real quick. Okay, so I gotta do like a Y. No, where'd you go, Ferrothorn? Is that not it? I swear that was it. Okay. Zagged. Such a strange little guy. Uh, 
I just got bonked. And Rally. In reality, he did more damage. <laughs> he did a ton of damage to himself. Doesn't even have an arm. I'm just gonna slowly start lowering its health with Power Whip. I know it's not gonna do a lot of damage, but... I lied. It did a lot of damage. Oh, that was a crit, that's why. All right, so here's the strat. It's he's gonna start. He's gonna start. He's gonna hit himself with another hammer arm, probably, which will lower his health. Anyways, so that's gonna he's gonna get hit with spike, with a bunch of bunch of damage in return. So one, two, and now now I can just swap to something else. Dude, Hammer Arm beats my entire team. Fighting type moves are nasty right now. Heh. Alright, time to start throwing Ultra Balls. Prage. Honestly, I'm almost glad that it was two shakes instead of three. This is gonna be, we're gonna be here for a while. crying a lot. <clears throat> this time, this time. This will be the one. Yeah, see, I was, I was right. This will be one. One shake. I predicted it. Got my Pokemon that I'm not even gonna use. Let's go! Let's go! Its body is composed of crystallized dragon energy. Regidrago is said to have the powers of every dragon Pokemon. Cool. All right, that's that's one of the things done. That's good. That's good. All right, so let's change our party back real quick. They just give you so many legendaries in this DLC. That's crazy. All right. So, the next thing we need to do is we need to go look for the, um, for the legendary birds. So, it sounds like the, um, Articuno is at the top of the mountain. So, I guess we'll start there. And... I'll report all my stuff later. Hopefully I'm correct on this. I'm not seeing it.
<laughs> it's definitely not in the cave. I'm still so salty that Frostmoth uh, doesn't have red, like red green wings. Still salty about that. Maybe it's in one of the other ice, icy areas. But it looked like it was going towards the mountain. the gross maybe it's up on the way here I'm not sure I'm assuming it's gonna be a Pokemon we can actually see Not seeing it. Maybe I'll go check one of the other ones first. Let's go check the let's go check the wild area. One of them is said to be in the wild area. Question is where? I see it. So fucking fast. Oh, I see. I see what I gotta do. How do I? Isn't there a way to like? No. Isn't there a way to like crouch? I would catch up to this fucker then. It just doesn't stop going. Actually, I think I'm catching up a little bit. I think it's losing speed. Losing speed. Kill this bundle be with extreme prejudice. My fucking god! The Zapdos had to go through the field of, of undodgeable bundle be. Basically. Oh, thank God. Oh, 
I don't actually know what type it is. Probably electric still. Kind of dangerously low. Don't kill power. Whip. I think you Fighting flying. Interesting. Oh. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, yeah, it's me, Peony. How's your expeditioning going? Come again, you found the legendary Pokemon Zapdos? Haha, <laughs> that's really something. Now go track down the other Pokemon. Okay. Alright, so the next one is going to be in the Isle of Armor. Could be anywhere in the Isle of Armor, really. Because it is just one big wild... Oh! How am I gonna catch up to it? It's just chillin'. Is it just gonna go in a circle? Also, really, it really helps that it's foggy out. I completely lost track of it, so. Here's hoping I'm right, and it goes in a circle. Why does it have to be fucking foggy? Ugh. Pain. I literally can't see a thing. It's so frustrating. I found it immediately and then it's just foggy. It's gonna come back. Please come back. Please come back. Not seeing it, so it does worry me. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fly back, see if it respawns it at the beginning. Nope. I guess I'm just gonna have to go and find it or something. Please fog, go away when I change areas so I can look for this damn Pokemon. Well, I don't see it at all. I should probably have killed that Chansey.
Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. What? How did I... I was right under it. Oh, where... Oh. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Huh? Alright, let's switch to Klefki, we're gonna paralyze it. It's probably not gonna be hitting with physical attacks. Something to fiery wrath. What the fuck is that? Well, it hit for not very effective, so it's not actually a fire type move. Wait, what? No, it's not hit. It doesn't affect it. Wait, does that mean it's an electric type? Or a ground type? I'm confused. Fiery Wrath isn't super effective. That means it's like probably a dark type move, right? Especially because that that doesn't hit for not very effective, so it's definitely a dark type. I don't know what its secondary typing is though. Ooh, nice. Okay, play play rough is super effective. Berserk. That's berserk. All right. Well, I don't have any uh, status affecting moves, so I guess we're just gonna I'm just gonna do this. Goodbye, Klefki. We'll be missed. Burb. Burb be burb. I'm definitely starting to run low on Ultra Balls. I may need to go buy, uh, buy some more. Nasty plot. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Alright, Moltres, you can like get in the ball, okay? If I'm in emergency, if I am in an emergency, I do have a, I do have a master ball. So like, if I'm down to my last Pokemon, I'll use a master ball on it. Yo, what's up, Chris? How's it going? Hey, I have to catch it for the story. How are you doing this fine evening? Dude, it's not even shaking once! Okay, see I asked and now it's shaking once. Now get in the ball. Kinda nasty. No, 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 no. Bad idea. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save Spiky Boy for last, actually, just because I don't want it to like iron barbs itself and kill and die. I need to go buy some more, some more balls. I bought like 40 and I'm already almost out. All right. Uh. Where is my Premier Balls? Come on, you gotta like the Premier Ball. It's drippy. No? Okay, we'll go back to Ultra Balls. 
Nope, you don't like Ultra Balls? Alright, what else do we got? What else do we got? Heal Ball? That was one shake. That was something. That was a little something something. Here. Luxury ball. You gotta love the luxury ball. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Kung Fu. Goodbye, Kung Fu. Alright, it's Master Ball time. It's Master Ball time. Fuck it. They gave us a Master Ball for a reason, am I right? Fuck the Moltres. There we go. We did it. God bless our get out of jail free card. So what is this? Dark flying? Why was it immune to... I'm so confused why it was immune to my Thunder Wave. Me, Peony, how's your expedition going? Come again, you find the legendary Pokemon Moltres? Now that's really something. Now go track down the other bird Pokemon. Yuki Buffs. Alright. So the last one so the last one is in this is in uh the Crown Tundra. Let's heal let's heal our mons real quick. Uh, Kung Fu is, is in the lead. Good. Alright. Uh, let's go buy some more... Uh, some more balls. Fuck, I just bought 50 Moo Moo Milk. <laughs> well, team, I hope you like Moo Moo Milk. Cause that's what you're gonna be drinking for the next, for the next year. Articuno, where the fuck are you? That's an Aerodactyl, not an Articuno. That's cool, I guess. Maybe it's out in the ocean area, so maybe I'll go down. Oh wait, there it is, it's right there.
What the? What the heck? I have to play a guessing game? Gonna, you gonna stop moving? I'm guessing it's a psychic type. Just a hunch. Alright, like seriously, you can like stop now. At least it's easy to follow. Really? All right. Take two, take two, take two. sure this one can could be uh, paralyzed psycho shift nice thunder wave good stuff good stuff All right, let's slowly start chipping it down. Oh, you're the worst. Just transferred my status condition to it. Well, two can play at that game. Now you can't transfer your status condition because we both have it. Ow! Ha! Well, that's gonna kill. Alright, so I need to find a way to do just like a little bit, but not a ton of damage. Alright, if it's a psychic type, flash. What's gonna be not very effective? Uh, foul play, I think, will be not very effective. Oh, wait. I'm a fucking dumbass. I was thinking. Oh. I was thinking that it was the fairy and I wasn't the fairy. Fuck. Time to look for it again. I got super lucky finding it early. And I messed up. Oh, that's... That move that forces... That, like... That changes, uh... Changes status conditions over. That messed me up. I'm 
now I gotta find it again, though. That sucks. I got so lucky finding it. Now, uh... Now this this ain't this ain't it, Chief. I mean it could be down there. Is there like a list of spots it goes to or something? And it like just like cycles between them. I'm gonna try down here. Maybe it'll be in the freezing lake. Who knows? I love seeing these flopping Magikarp. It's great. Not this way. Fuck. I'm so mad. I hate. Yo, this poppin'. This poppin's actually getting really annoying. Like I don't mu Like I don't mind it sometimes, but right now when I'm like trying to find something, it's so annoying. Cause I just run into everything. Wait, that didn't kill. That didn't kill. like focus sash that wasn't like friendship that was just raw one hp oh my god ledge absolute legend Not seeing it around here. Oh, nice hydro pump. Well, yes, it's not here. Because I feel like I would have seen it by now. I disagree. I disagree, game. This cut through strong enough now where he can do that. check I guess I could check over down here I can't believe it I had it I had it had it but I threw Gotta avoid all the poppin' all the poppin' Pokemon. Oh, 
cool a raccoon is. Noi Vern. I actually really like a lot a raccoonid. I remember when I uh what was it a gen six or seven Pokemon? I think it was gen seven. I used a raccoonid in my first playthrough. It was actually like really good. Alright, well it's not here. Gonna keep teleporting around until we find it. Oh, I can't believe I accidentally just murked it. That was so dumb of me. I don't think I've gone this way. Actually even lead somewhere it does there it is there it is there it is Looks like it's starting to land. All right. All right, got it right. They just teleports behind me. Nothing personal, kid. All right. start with play roughs oh wait it's missing terrain I think that means I'm probably gonna be doing more damage oh my god all right that's a solid amount of damage Hit it with that one more time. Alright, good. It's low. Now, I want to start... I want to heal myself up real quick. Go for a Paralyze. And then... And then try to catch it. So it's low enough where I don't need to worry anymore. Is this freezing glare gonna have a chance to freeze me? It definitely will. Good. Make sure I don't select an offensive move and cause it to run away again. All right. Start with Ultra Ball, the classic. One. I don't really care too much if my Pokemon go down, as long as I have one Pokemon left. Yes! Okay, nice. Zapdos and Articuno were fairly easy. Moltres required a Master Ball, though. Psychic Flying. Alright, let's report back to Chief Peony. We've 
I think that's about all the legendaries that I can catch at the moment. Legendary Giants. Yes, I caught Regirock. So you're th saying this great craggy thing's Regirock, the rock giant? It's just me or spare a striking resemblance to our grass type gym leader. Look at those broad, burly soldiers. This fella and Milo are a proper pair of boulders. <laughs> well, it's rocky and giant enough, I suppose. I'll call this expedition successful. Anything else you want to talk about? Legendary Giant. Reggie Ice. Wait, you really caught Reggie Ice from the Legends? It's ultra mega brilliant. Report away. You're saying this great, this great frozen stiff thing's Reggie Ice, the Ice Giant? Is it just me, or does it look like I'd make one ultra mega dazzling chandelier? <laughs> Wish I could light it up and show it to darling Nia. That aside, look at how massive and mighty it is. Gives me chills just looking at it. I don't mind saying. Well, it's icy and giant. -y. I'll give you that. Let's consider this expedition complete. Oh. Uh, I'll just, I'll just finish. Uh. The Giants. What you call Registeel from the Legends? That's Ultra Mega Brilliant. I'm mean, saying this great smooth thing's Registeel the Steel Giant. Is it just me or does it look like its top half look a bit like a massive bowling ball? <laughs> look at that blank inscrutable mug though. You can't guess what's going on through its head. Well, it's stealing and giant enough, I suppose. Let's call this exhibition well done. And Reggie Drago. I'm saying this great jagged thing's Reggie Drago, the ja dragon giant? Is it just me, or does it look like it really pack a strong pinch? It's a bit m like a massive clothespin, isn't it? I better not go provoking it. Uh, doubt it'd have a bit of trouble opening wide and snapping me up. Though I suppose it, that's a dragony giant. May as well call this expedition a success. Looks like you reported all there is to report on the legendary clue 2 and the legendary giants. Smash it, I marked this expedition done. Good to hear. Legendary bird Pokemon. Wait, you really caught Articuno? Of course. So that's Articuno, is it? The legendary Pokemon that can manipulate ice? I definitely see the resemblance, but it's got this dodgy mask on and everything. Hardly seems cold at all, does it? Oh well, that's one ultra mega icy gaze. That's Articuno enough for me anyways. Let's call this expedition to success. Hmm, so that's Zapdos, is it? The legendary Pokemon that can cause thunderstorms? I definitely see the resemblance, but those legs look thicker than I expected. And that's not exactly electrifying, is it? Oh well, it's as spiky and as long beak as I'd hoped for. That's Zapdos enough for me, I suppose. Let's mark this expedition complete. Wait, you really caught Moltres? Legendary Pokemon that, that's the embodiment of fire. I definitely see the resemblance, but it's not at all hot to the touch. Kind of looks like it'd be more at home with the punks and spike muffin on the volcano, does it? Oh, well, it looks like it's burning if you don't look too close. That's ultras enough for me, I suppose. Let's call it exhibition well done. All right, that's... That's all done. All right, now... Doesn't look like you got any fresh progress. That's fine. Adventure's got me feeling stuck in this one. This one's a head scratcher for sure. I'm sure if you had a gander at statue in town and heard everything the townsfolk have to say for starters, never hurts to look at the town map and check your legendary clue to take a fresh look from square one. All right, Pokemon are all healed up. Let's go. So I guess I have to actually talk to people. Ew. Socializing. Sure, I'll take carrot seeds. Eight dynite ore for some seeds? What the fuck? Maybe in any of these houses, are there any important NPCs? Wait, a Cosmog? Foofy! 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 
Why the heck is there a Cosmog in there? Oh, this definitely looks like it's what I need to do. I've had a look at the statue. Yes, I have. I mean, I guess I'll look at it again. Yeah, it's definitely missing, uh, missing the head. Been in this house. I build them. Can I actually like, go in this? No, I figured. All right. Well, I've talked to most of the villagers. Uh, I talked to these ladies. Nothing important. Yes, I have. Uh, guess I'll take a look at the adventure hint again. There's a fairy tale in Freezing Teen about the legendary Pokemon known as the Bountiful King of Harvest, and the legend is said to wear a massive crown on its head, but the wooden statue shows no sign of a crown. Um, I guess I will go... I'll go back up to the Crown Shrine. Now that I've done the other, the other things. Not seeing anything. Uh, I'm not sure. see there is a uh, according to this map that Matt gave me um, am I supposed to also see it down here now that I've like caught all the all the mons gonna do anything I'm like slowly it's slowly zooming in monka s <laughs> this is <a> giant ingredient <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Guess that's what I get. Um, I did not prepare for this. Oh. 
All right, Bisharp, you got this, right? Right? I hope so. Don't have a lot of health. Punch. Oh, that did no damage. Oh my god. That was a crit? Oh my god, this is awful. More attack. What's it doing? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yep. Can I run, please? I don't want to be fighting a max dead on my own. Nope. There's no end to the wild ride. Well, hopefully it'll kill itself by hitting the spiky ball, uh, the spiky boy. Maybe. Please. Iron barbs. It's got a fucking berry, you bitch. Oh my god. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, this sucks. Oh, get me out of this! Get me out! Get me out! I don't want to fight this, but it won't let me leave! It's gonna heal up and it's gonna- it's gonna hurt itself with- Oh, Max Knuckle, what the fuck? No! Ow. Oh, and it nullified. It... Oh, you are the worst. Okay, iron. Bar okay, at least get iron barbs Rocky helmet on it at the end. All right. All right, come on, Cub Fu, you got this. Cub Fu, you got close combat. It's not gonna do enough. I need two more. Goodbye, Kung Fu. You were too young for this world. All right, bring it home. Bring it home, Excadrill. Bring it home. Of berries oh my god that was a silly amount of berries actually this is the cave that got me here in the first place I think this was the cave that got me here in the first place
nothing's triggering. Maybe it's not here? Uh, I gotta go heal up anyways. I'm gonna go back to Freezing Ten, and I'm just gonna look it up at this point, because, uh, I, I don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time. Legendary Clue 1. Talking to people didn't help. Oh, I should have grabbed that. I'm a dumbass. Hey, Chief, my pillow's caught your eye. Your pillow? Boy, listen here, Chief. I got some wisdom to impart. You can put it on your head and have a kip. It's a pillow. Unfortunately, I went and left my favorite pillow back at home, so I went to have a look around town for something easy to rest my head on. I found this back behind the inn. Can I have it? Come off it, you want my, to hand over my Ultra Maker Comfy Pillow? It's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. Hmm, what's that? And my pillow's got something to do with legendary Pokemon? Ah, Ultra Mega, seriously? This is just some old thing I found. We really want it. Who am I to refuse? Alright, alright. Go on, then have it. Make sure you track down that legend down. I can't believe it. It was right there in front of me, and I passed by it a hundred times that I didn't even notice. I am actually just blind. Yes, put the wooden crown on. There we go. The wooden crown fixed perfectly on the statue. Monka S. Look at those Triforces. God, it's Mega Mind. I don't actually even know what level it is. That's funny. Heh, you tried. I'm pretty sure this is a psychic type, so this is going to be super effective. I don't think it's going to kill it. It's got a lot of health. Oh, I crit it. Nice. Of course I crit it when... I'm like calculating the numbers. Did you have fun? Did you say crown? <laughs> Oi, what's up? I heard a ruckus coming from over here. What's this now? You having a Pokemon battle? 
What a massive noggin! Dude, you oh, what's this? Huh? What's Megamind doing? Ah, uh, yes, a sturdy body, just as I suspected. I hope he doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Are you the Pokemon? Oh, I see you've grasped the situation already. Very astute of you. I am Calriex. I am, one, I am known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. I have borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude towards you for restoring my statue. In long days past, I reigned over these lands as king. The humans offered me their loyalty and respect, and I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvest year after year. However, it seems that over many, many years, the people of this land have forgotten my existence. They used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has long since been lost to the ravages of time. You see, it is the faith of the people that grants me strength, and now I have lost all but a fraction of my former power. Even my loyal steed has abandoned me. However, you were kind enough to restore my statue. That act has returned some strength to me, at least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, I have a favor to ask you. I must know once and for all whether my people have truly forgotten about me. I wish you to speak to the villagers and ask if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvest. I have tried asking them myself, you understand, but they treated me like some sort of fairy tale creature or flew into mild panic at the sight of me. Please, kind-hearted human, I beg of you to help me. Okay. Well, he's going to be held captive for the time being, I suppose. No. King of Island Harvest used to believe it was real. Pokemon King. Oh, yeah. Grand used to tell me stories, old fairy tales, stuff like that. What about you, you lady? You're rather busy doing nothing right now. Wow. King of Bountiful Harvest. Well, if it exists, it doesn't heal the... Why doesn't it heal the land around so we can grow crops for a change? Why, I do remember the King of Bountiful Harvest. It's only the main tourist attraction of our lovely freezing tin. I imagine we'd see more visitors if only the king were real. Speed boost. Ah, human child. I trust you were able to speak to the villagers. Did they say anything about me? They did, but... As, as I suspected, nobody truly believes that I am real. It seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Hmm. Oh no, of course I am not grieving. I am the King of Bountiful Harvest, after all. I know better than to count on humans to remember me. This proves beyond a doubt that I cannot simply rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. If only my loyal steed were to return to me, I would regain something of what I lost. That a Pokemon? Yes, the four-legged Pokemon that I used to ride across the land. The very same Pokemon that my statue in the village shows me riding. Alas, though in ancient times we spent many days together dashing through the valleys and over the mountains of this land. My power waned and I was forced to part ways with it. Now I know, know not where it may be. Even if we should succeed in lo locating my loyal seat, I have doubts to whether it has remained well loyal. I have lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers know something about my currently not so loyal steed. I would be in your debt if you could speak on the, to the head of the village on my behalf. If you are able to find any information, I ask that you let me know. Okay. Ugh. Huh? Chief? The massive noggin? Or, wait, no, it's normal. I must fall asleep where I stood. Sorry about that, Chief. Still, I feel strange, like my body's quite not my own. Guess I'll head back to the base and get some rest. Science is freezing out here. To the village chief. Mayor's not home at the moment. We went to have a look at the fields of the giant's bed. You can go look for him if you're in a hurry. Giant's bed is southeast of the village. To go through Frost Point Field and just go to the left. Oh, so this was like... This was how I was supposed to actually like discover this place. Instead of just going around on my own, like a, like a moron. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. Alas, this field is no good either. Soil's bare, no crop could possibly grow here now. Perhaps the lands of the Crown Tons are truly our beyond hope. What's this? Oh, our dear visitor, what brings you here? Well, you want to learn about the loyal sea of the King of the Bounty for Harvest? Well, this is hardly the place for store telling. Come to my home in Friesington. It's better to have a nice chat in the warmth after all. Please visit whenever you're ready. I'll be waiting. Sure. Boost. Have you, have you seen what's happened to the statue of the King of Bountiful for Harvest? Its head has become massive. Can you say that was the way the king was supposed to look? Now that you mention it, it does resemble the design on our town souvenir shirts. But if you, but you speak as if you've seen the king with your own two eyes. That statue has been broken since I was a child. Oh, of course. You want to learn about the loyal seed of the King of the Bountiful Harvest? Um, well, I don't know why you'd be interested in stuff things, but come then, follow me. An old book I read long ago said that the king's loyal steed was particularly fond of a certain special vegetable, but its memory isn't what it used to be. I can't exactly recall what the steed so desired. I think it's best that you search on the bookshelf over there if you want to find out more. Oh, look at that card being so happy. You did a little twirl. What kinds of books? Let's see. The king's proud steed. The Freezington Snow Samba. <laughs> The horse Pokemon gave over its owner to serve the king and carry it hither and thither. Two became one for a time, combining their strength to create a forest in a single night. The proud seed had been a wild thing once, ravaging the village crops and causing much woe. But the king in all its greatness brought the fierce creature to heal and secure its loyal loyalty. Uh, and for each among us who claimed the seed's hide was black as midnight and gloom, which the ghosts appear, there's another who claims it was white as a block of ice. None alive can say which the troop is. The reigns of unity. Though these reigns uh, did the king send its power in order to tame and control the steed proud, the reigns, in fact, were made of the hands of the people thanks to the plenty brought by the king. These reigns bound not only the horse and the king to one another, but the, uh, they bound the people to the king as well. At the dawn of the new year, they must uh, never forget to give the king with his offering. Let the radiant flower and the mane of the steed be woven together by us all the faith. Let the secrets of the sacred art be passed down from parent to child grandchild never forgotten uh, carrots all right going to okay so we need carrots Uh, hopefully that information will help. Yep, cutscene. Kyrax is just vibing. Mm. Oh, hey there, Chief. I had a feeling someone called me. Was it you? Huh? <laughs> Human child, were you able to find something about my loyal steed? Yes. So you found something... Uh, you found out about something that my loyal steed could not resist? It's been so long since we rode together that I'd completely forgotten. With this information, we made it able to lure my loyal steed to me yet. So tell me, what was it? Find, uh... Carrots! Oh, carrots, you say? Yes, I remember now. Even back when we were together, it would leave at any chance to eat some kind of crop. It took everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, the crop must have been carrots. I mean, your debt, human child. Uh, what we must do now is clear. Uh, if we are able to find carrots somewhere, it should be but a trifle to learn by loyal steed. Uh, if we can even obtain a single seed, you can grow a carrot from yourself. Cool stuff. Meanwhile, we'll just hold him captive. I think I have just enough ore. Hmm. 
Thank you. This is the greatest trade deal in the history of trade deals. Have you found the carrots? Yes, I have. Here you go. <laughs> By the stars! You say that you have carrot seeds? That strange bag contains the seeds of carrots? You humans never stop adapting and evolving. I'm constantly amazed by your ingenuity. And yet, hmm, the fields of the village simply won't do. They aren't suited for growing carrots. If we could find rich soil, I could use my powers to grow the crops that we need. Now, where might we find soil suited for growing these crops in the tundra of mine? I see two spots that might suit our needs. One is a field covered in pristine snow. The other is a spot. Uh, if the other spot is a field of gravestones where those who moved on were laid to rest. Either of these locations should allow me to use my powers to grow the carrots we need. Please ask you to choose a field and plant the seeds. All right, so this will choose which one we we get. Uh, I don't really have a preference. Ah! What in the? I seem to be getting in the habit of falling asleep outside. Uh, I guess it goes to show that holding down the fort ain't, isn't all that easy. You take care of yourself, Chief. Don't overdo it. Alright, sounds good. Alright, so they're marked on our map. Oh, cutscene. Nanny. Sing the song about the King Steed's Pokemon. Of course, my dear. I'd love to. Ice root carrots, cold as ice, munched uh, all up the bully in white. Shade root carrots, dark as doom, crunched by the bully with a, gas a ghostly gloom. Now you make sure you eat your veggies too, just like the Pokemon in the song. Oh, this feel clapped. Oh, it's such a good feel. Oh, I love this feel. Honestly, I'm just gonna go to the old cemetery. It's closer. Uh, but if we do the ice one... Honestly, let's do the ice one. Because it'll be super easy to, easy to fight. Because since we have all Steel-type Pokemon, it'll just make my life super easy. It's one of the fields. Let's plant the carrots. <gasps> Bro, he dragged them all the way over here. I see you reach one of the fields. If you plant the seeds in this field, ice root carrots will grow. It's been so long since your mavery is hazy, but I believe my loyal seed would often partake in this sort of vegetable. Ice root carrots were what my seed preferred. It must have been the ice type, mustn't it? Uh, it's most vexing that I can't recall. I suppose we'll see. But I ask once more, is this the field I want? Yeah. Well, I ask you plant the seeds. Dig, dig, dig. Pat, pat. Ah, very good, very good. You'll be able to... Uh, you have an able hand for working the, with soil. Now then, it's time I did my part. Let me show you my powers. <laughs> he did a dance. Doink. You planted so many seeds, and yet my powers, my powers could only get one to grow. To think I've fallen so low, it truly breaks my heart. But soon it will be time uh, to bid my sorrows farewell. Now, human child, I must ask you to pull that ice root carrot free with all your might. Yes. One, two, and pull. Well done, human child. That carrot will be the key to luring my loyal steed back to me. Now all I need are the reins of unity. They will amplify my power and let me ride my loyal steed with ease. But I doubt I shall ever get another set from the humans in the village. Oh! <gasps> there it is. It's a horsey boy. What? Glassrier? My loyal steed? Is it truly you? That glistening white pelt, that rough, violent gallop. Oh, it has not changed from the day we first met. Oh, it brings back memories. Did 
It is my belief that while the steed could be picked up on the scent of carrot, it could not determine where the scent was coming from. Judging from the direction it ran off, it must uh, be headed to the village and attempt to pillage carrots there. If that is true. Then Freezington is in danger. Human child, we must make haste. Peony's, Peony's got to be having a good time, right? Well, let's hurry to Freezington real quick. It's just vibing. Haunts. All right, it's time to square up. I'm assuming we won't be able to catch it, right? It is after my ice root carry. Gonna hit it with Thunder Wave first. Not getting my ice root carrot. Oh, Icicle Crash? Okay. I'm getting bonked. That was some pretty heavy damage. For not very effective attack. Alright, Flash Cannon time, baby. Let's start dealing some heavy damage to it. Oh, that's like perfect. That's like the perfect amount of damage. It's, it's gonna get it like nice into the red. Perfectly into the red. Oh, I need to, to let its guard down. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Guess I need to kick its ass. I'm not using guillotine. You crazy? Nice. You're nice. Stopped. And then it fucked off. I was ran over that old lady. You alright? Yes, it feels like something stepped in to save me. Are those the reins of unity? Tuft of white mane hair. Hair strong and flexible. Oh, kind visitor, how could I possibly thank you for saving the people of the village? I had no idea such a vicious Pokemon still existed in the tundra. Well, it reminded me uh, of the Pokemon in the fairy tales, the loyalty of the king. Ah, uh, but no doubt I'm overthinking things. Hmm, what is that you have there? Is that a tuft of white mane hair? In the fairy tales, it's said but that by weaving the hair of a loyal seed together with a radiant blossom grown by the king, it's possible to rain, uh, create the reins of unity which uh, link the king with its steed. In fact, it was my own ancestors who used, the, uh, used to weave the reins of unity following an ancient tradition passed down over many years. I have, co of course, I myself have never seen any kind of radiant flower, and, then even, uh, and the method of making the reins also has been lost in time. In that case, we can't spend any day, uh, can't spend all day musing over fairy tales. I must make preparation, plans and preparations. That Pokemon could uh, well decide to pay us another visit after all. Thank you very much for your help, kind traveler. Yeah, 
we gotta go talk to him again. Yeah, my thanks for protecting the village, human child. We're at full power. I could have tamed my steed and regained its loyalty, but weakened as I am now, the most I could do was influence its will and make it depart. If only I had the reins of unity, they would allow me to tame my seed in short order. We need a flower. What's that? We can make this uh, set of reins with the main hair for my loyal steed and the flower that I can grow? A flower. But of course. I assume that the humans stopped making their reins of unity because they lost their faith in me. But it's because I lost power to grow the material I needed. I spent far too long holding my misguided assumptions, it seems. It seems that many centuries since I was able to grow a radiant flower, doing so much strength. Doing so drains much of my power, but for whatever reason, a fraction of my power seems to return to me just now. There's only one thing to be done. Let the radiant flower bloom. Crownus Bloomus. Take this human child. <clears throat> radiant petal. <laughs> Shames me to admit it, but the whole flower is beyond me right now. I do not know if that petal will be enough, but I must ask that you still try to create the reins of unity. It sends to the family who once made the rain should still live in the village. Put my hopes on you. I kind of like uh, how much expression that Calrie X has. It's kind of funny. Oh, hello again, Savior of the Village. Come to do some more reading. I need a favor. May want you to make a set of reins of unity? Well, that presents a bit of a problem. My dear great-granddad was still around. He'd still be able to make you a set. Unfortunately, no one left knows the traditional ways. What's more, I doubt you have the flower you need to forge a set of reins. Got a petal, at least. Is that a petal from a radiant flower? If so, is that would that not mean the King of uh, Bountiful Harvest truly? No, I dare not hope. If I recall, my ancestors made a random unity by following the ways passed down in the fairy tales. There were two key materials, a flower and the hairs from Pokemon. Afraid those traditions have long, uh, long faded from memory. Still, how could I refuse a favor uh, from such a kind and helpful guest? The materials, if you please. He's going to try. Can't promise it'll turn out as well as the ones a great granddad would have made, but time to breathe life back into the traditions of my village. Click clack. Where were? Harumph. I'm afraid it hasn't come out well at all. I find myself a crafty enough sort, but I suppose it takes a craftsman of truly delicate technique to make such fine reins. Please don't look so, so dejected. I'm very sorry. I truly am. Oh, I'm Mr. Mayor. The hot water in my shower seems to have gone on holiday. Ah, oh, yes, terribly sorry. I'll look at it soon. Oh, you're here too, Chief? Were you in the middle of something? You pair, you seem awfully gloomy. The mayor tried. Is that all? All you need to do is make some nice cord? Pass those materials to me for a mo. Alright, got petal in my hair. Now what, what am I supposed to do with them? If I may be so bold, allow me to share a song, song that survives from the legends. Blossom woven round and round. Loyal, a royal gift sitting in main hairs bound. Steady on, old bloke. This thing's a bit much. Oh well, that'll do for the answer. Hiya! I'll finish have a look. Think it'll do? Yeah, it'll do. You're more than careful than your face lets on. These reins of union are the spitting image of those in my family's tales. Ha ha. I don't sew all my do dear do rebellious daughter's clothes for nothing, you know. Even the explorer's outfit I gave you was handmade by yours truly. In any case, it seems you got the reign of the unity. Isn't that just smashing? Prey returned to Calrie X's location. Would you believe it? I caught myself falling asleep outside again. I was chilled to the bone, thought it'd warm up with a good hot shower at the base, but the water was coming out ice cold. I got extra. Oh. Human child, were you able to make the reins of unity? He did. Indeed, this man has done so much to aid me. I hope I can repay him sometime. I have good news of my own. I was able to track down my loyal steed. He's making some of the crown shrine. It's a place where my loyal steed and I spent much time together. 
I've been avoiding the places I feel I'd get trapped in my own nostalgia. Why is my loyal steed made a shrine at its home? Is it reminiscing about our time together? Water time? Oh my god, I need it. Thank you. Is it, is it reminiscing about our time together? No, it can't be. The crown shrine stands majestically atop the mountain to the north. Bring the carrots and the reins of unity there. Meet me there. Ah, there we go. I should be. It, yeah, it was sufficient. I finished up my water bottle. All right. Um, let's just heal up real quick. I'm probably gonna have to fight it again. I still can't believe I just like completely missed the crown. That was so dumb of me. Oh, there he is. I've been waiting, human child. The crown shrine is a place I once called home. Glasseria, uh, think me helpless now that I've lost my powers. It taunts me by making this place its own dwelling. I see you have brought the reins of unity. You have my thanks, child. Ah, uh, the feeling of holding these again. The color, the way they shine in the light. Oh, this brings back memories. Glasseria is a very proud Pokemon. One might even call it arrogant. It will not accept me as its master again unless I am able to prove that my power outweighs its own. I will use the reins of unity to... Pour my power into the very body of my loyal steed. Should I convince it that I am sti indeed still deserving of its loyalty? Now, human child, order li I li the steed to me. Place the ice root carrot in the basket near where it made its bed. Plop. Time has come, human child. You have successfully defeated my loyal steed once already. It will not willingly approach it. anyone who considers it to be a threat. We must hide and wait for it to be appear. Oh, it's got the it's got the reins in its hands. It's haunts. Num num num. Oh boy. <laughs> it's bucking. Whee! Yo, he's using his magic powers. Yo, that's majestic as heck. Yo, it's got a cape now. Oh, the cape is more majestic, at least. Yo, that's sick. What in the world? Such a huge noggin, and it's got a ride? What? You can talk? What? What do you want? I got no idea what you're saying, but somehow this also makes sense? Hold the phone. What in the world are you anyways? Oh, not again. Human child, thanks to your efforts, I've been reunited with my loyal seed, and I am finally at my full power. I was so convinced that the people no longer believed in me, and that I also lost my loyal steed. I was trapped in the throes of deep loneliness, but you saved me. There are truly no words to fully express my gratitude to you, so I have a suggestion. If you are able to catch me, even with my powers restored, it will prove 
uh, your worth beyond a doubt, and I will lend you my strength on your journey. Once you have readied yourself, come face me. But first, I should get this back man back to where I found him. It'd be no good to let him freeze out in the frigid climb. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> yep. Let's do this. All right, we're going to start with... Uh, see, I could just Master Ball it. But is that fun? No. Master Ball is for emergencies. His two abilities. It's also level 80. What the fuck? Glacial Lance? Yo, that's so cool. That was so cool. Actual good animation. Let's go. Well, we're I'll lower its health slowly. Chilling nay. Oh. Well, oh, that's scary. Let's go, let's go. Brick break, hopefully won't kill it. Alright, it's in the red. It's in the red, let's go. Not even close. Iron Defense, you go for it, buddy. You go for it, buddy. Yo, how about a luxury ball? Nope. Okay. Worth a try. Worth a try. Giga Drain? Why do you know Giga Drain? <sighs> really gonna be like that? Really gonna be like that? Now I actually have to damage you a little bit? Alright, well... Brick Break does, like, no damage, so that's good. It's actually kind of what I'm looking for. I can actually Brick Break one more time, too. I could even do it one more time, but I'm not going to risk it. Yo, you want to be in a heal ball? A little bit. Wanted to be in a heal ball just a little bit. Oh, wait. Not a nest ball. I thought the next one was going to be a great ball. It's got a very interesting moveset. Uh, I thought I was gonna get it. Get in the ball. Where are my great balls? Oh, there they are. All my Pokeballs are in the wrong order. I need to, like, organize. I needed to. I should have organized them. Doesn't look a great ball. Let's go back to Ultra Ball. Nope, does not like the Ultra Ball. It kind of like the Premier Ball. I'll give, I'll give that. I think it would look good for Glastrier. 
Maybe Calorie X is the one that doesn't like it. Okay, now it just doesn't like it. Got it, got it, got it. How about a regular Pokeball? I won't throw too many of these, but let's go for one. One regular Pokeball. Yo, Paralysis really coming in clutch. Paralysis is actually super, super good. Fuck! So close. I got hyped. Still in the red. If it gets out of the red, I'll start hitting it again. Yeah, go back to using Psychic. I like that. It was a crit. God damn it. I knew that was going to happen eventually. You know what? It's about 10 o'clock. I think I'm just going to catch with the Master Ball. Fuck it. I gotta, cause I gotta go to bed soon. Where is Mr. Master Ball? I tried catching it in something else, but hey, it is what it is. Gotta go to bed. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Everybody gets levels. Looks like my bitrate's going a little wild. Well, I guess it's good we're going to be ending the stream soon. Eh, I'll look at it later. Human child, no, I should refer to you by your name now, Flair. I look forward to what adventures we might have together. Hey, is that you? It's me, Peony. Uh, I just had a dream about a big-headed Pokemon talking on on a weird way. You were you were there too, Chief. All felt so real. I got worried about you and decided I'd better give it give you a call and check in. Haven't hurt yourself, have you, Chief? Not in a bunch of trouble, are you? I'm fine. Ah, uh, that's good to hear. I guess I got nothing to worry about then. The Peony Exploration Team is all about safety and the well-being of its members, after all. So you be careful on your way back. You hear? No exhibitions over until you're safe and sound back at home base. All right, got to report back to Chief Peony. And then I g guess that's probably going to be the end of the Crown Tundra. I don't know if there's anything else to do after that. But I think this this will wrap up the main uh the main story. Wait, you caught calories from the legends? That that noggin's massive. Is that the King of Bountiful Harvest, the one calling the shots around here? Huh, I swear I could have seen it before. Or then again, maybe not. Anyway, it's definitely regal to have a steed. That uh, massive head does sort of resemble a crown. It's kingly enough at any rate. Let's just call it a successful expedition. Looks like I've reported all there is on Legendary Clue 1. Smash it. I'll mark this done. 
That's about all the reporting you've got to report just now. Go give those other other legends a nice thorough investigating. Well, how about that, Chief? Looks like uh, that was the last bit of the Grand Peony Adventure that I had for you. Whew, isn't that... Now, this is an occasion. What's the word? Ultra Mega Epic. Passion for all this has caught me off guard, Chief. The whole Adventure was uh, built out of a load of rubbish I scrapped together, even if I had my doubts about the whole thing. But you? You went at it with a ton of energy. I don't suppose those Pokemon you caught were really the ones of the Legends, do you? I do. Nah, actually, never mind. You don't have to tell me anything. Look on my face tells me everything I need to know, Chief. I can tell you that you must have done some ultra mega epic exploring. And whatever you discovered on your way, that's a real treasure just for you. I'm not asking to rain on your parade by being nosy and asking silly questions. Well, Chief Flair, thanks for sticking around and finishing every part of my adventure. I want you to have this. Consider it my way of saying thank you. Got his rare league card. Can't shake the feeling I'm forgetting something. Ugh. Dad, people can hear you all the way outside, you know. My darling Nia. Ugh, this place isn't bad, so this is where you're staying? Oh, hey, Flair, fancy meeting you outside the Max Lair for once. Yeah, it's been a while. You're, heh, you're really on my wavelength. So you actually just kept my old man company. Cheers, I owe you one. I had my fill of Dynamax adventures for you. So I thought I may as well try one, uh, what do you call them tours my old man was going on about. Oh. Huh? What? Why did everyone go so quiet? Hold on. Give me a... Uh, I'll come up with a new legend straight away. <laughs> then, you, then you'll you have your adventure. Do you have a fa nice father-daughter expedition? Finally. Whoa. Wait a second. You'll come up with legends? That's way too close. I need some personal space here. All right. First things first. I got something for you, Nia. I made this brilliantly shiny explorer outfit for you. You can get changed while I come up with something. What in the world? Are you trying to turn me into a disco ball or something? And why do I gotta wear this golden one when yours is normal? Just an obvious, you're my darling daughter. I want you to shine so bright that everyone notices you. Ugh, it stinks like this. I changed my mind. Here, you can have this. Uh, but why? I got the gold expedition uniform. I'm heading back on my own adventure time to get you more Dynamax Pokemon. No, come back, Mia. No need to be so rebellious. I know you really love me, don't you? Ugh, sorry for the sudden commotion, Chief. It was a blast exploring with you. You feel free to keep using our base camp, of course. Hey, wait, it's time to go spend some quality time with my darling daughter. Hold on, Nia, wait for me! The end. All right, awesome. We actually managed to finish the Crown Tundra tonight. Sick. That is exactly what I wanted. Legendary clue? Okay, so this looks like Ultra Beasts. We don't really care about Ultra Beasts, though. So, I'm gonna say for now, uh, I'll figure... If we have extra time on Wednesday, maybe... But, uh, basically the plan for Wednesday will be, we're gonna get, like, another- Actually, honestly, Kubfu is the right level. So, we're probably just gonna go in, uh, into the dojo and hopefully do good things with Kubfu. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate it. I, uh, remember, please vote on the poll on my Twitter, uh, to get your starter chosen for, uh, my playthrough of Violet, uh, on Friday. And yeah, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Have a good night, everybody.